everybody, this is a doc, and today's video is on the topic of aging cigar tobacco. At Stogie Fresh, we have always concerned ourselves with the proper care and aging of cigars, and I get a lot of questions about the topic of aging. However, there are different stages in aging depending on the stages in the development of the tobacco. So today's video is going to talk about each of the stages of aging cigar tobacco. There are three stages of aging cigar tobacco, the primary stage, secondary stage, and tertiary stage. Each of these stages has a different purpose and effect on the tobacco in a cigar. The primary stage of aging is when you age the tobacco before it gets rolled into cigars. This takes place after the harvesting, curing, and fermenting of the tobacco. By this stage, the tobacco has been subjected to all kinds of handling and the process of fermentation will heat up and cook the tobacco leaves in an attempt to rid them of some of the nasty off-putting chemicals, the chief of which would be ammonia. Well, I've talked about curing and fermentation before, but after all that, the tobacco is packed into bales and laid down for a much-needed rest. The tobacco is aged in this primary stage in bales, and the tobacco can be baled in two different ways, either in burlap or in tercio. The burlap bale is about 115 to 125 pounds of tobacco that's been stacked into a big cube, and it's compressed and then sewn into burlap fabric. There are usually two guys sewing on either end of the bale, and they sew by hand using thick twine and a long, thick threading needle. A tercio, on the other hand, is a bale of cigar tobacco that's sealed in the fronds of hardened palm bark. The bales are compressed really tight and then sealed in palm leaves using rope to tie them tight around the bale. Since palm leaves are much less permeable to air than burlap, and since the tercios are compressed tightly, the aging that takes place inside a tercio will be much slower and will create much less heat inside the bale, allowing the tobaccos to gently ferment in their natural oils and juices. Some tobaccos are aged in boxes or even barrels, but most aging takes place in the traditional method, either in bales or tercios. After the tobacco is baled, it gets placed into the warehouses, and the tobacco aging takes about two to three years and sometimes longer. During this time, there's this very slow fermentation and aging taking place, but by the time the bales are open, most of the tobacco has fermented completely and most of the moisture is absent from the leaves. So, after the bales are open, the leaves must be moistened with water before they can be handled. In fact, the tobacco is moistened at almost every stage of its recovery as it's made ready to roll into cigars. Well, that brings us to the secondary stage of aging, and that is the aging that takes place after the tobacco has been rolled into the cigars. As the filler, binder, and wrapper tobacco is sorted, weighed, and eventually rolled into cigars, it's the wrapper and binder tobacco that gets the most moisture. This is to prevent damage to the wrapper and binder as it gets stretched around the filler tobacco. But when the cigars have been rolled, the binder and wrapper tobacco is disproportionately wet when compared with the filler tobacco. Therefore, the finished cigars are placed into cedar line aging rooms to reach an equilibrium or balance in the moisture levels between each component. Until the cigar has reached a moisture balance, the cigar won't burn and smoke well. So the cigars are stored in climate-controlled aging rooms for three months, six months, and sometimes more. This allows the tobacco to reach its stasis point at a moisture content of between 12 to 14 percent. The final stage would be the tertiary stage of aging, and that takes place after the cigars are packaged, and either they arrive at the retailer or are purchased by the consumer for placement into their humidors. The tertiary stage aging will entail micro-fermentation and a migration of the oleoresins inside each individual cigar. And if removed from the cellophane wrappers, this marrying of the oleoresins will occur across many cigars in a batch or box. 
As the cigars age in their packaging, the slow micro-fermentation will result in a mellowing of the tobacco and allow more balance and complexity to occur. Though not every cigar is a good candidate for long-term aging, the right cigars under the right conditions will improve in their depth of flavors and will become a much more distinctive smoke. So in summary, the primary stage of aging occurs in bales or tercios before the tobacco is rolled into cigars. It lasts for two to three years or sometimes longer, and it allows fermentation to reach an end point and for the concentration of oleoresins within the tobacco. The secondary stage of aging occurs in the factory aging rooms after the cigars have been rolled, but before they're distributed to the consumer. This takes place for three months or longer and allows time for moisture equilibrium within the cigar. The tertiary stage of aging occurs after the cigars are packaged either in boxes or in your home humidors. This can last from three months to an unlimited amount of time, depending on the cigar, and allows micro-fermentation and the mellowing of tobacco. Well, there you have it. That was a brief treatment of the subject of aging cigar tobacco. There are, of course, different variations in the practices between cigar companies, and though very traditional in its practices, the cigar industry is continually looking for better ways of practicing their artisanal crafts. So until next time, this is the Doc. Catch you later.